Hi, I'm Emma. I'm the editor of Cross Stitch Crazy magazine. And I'm Elizabeth and I'm the deputy production editor on Cross Stitch Crazy magazine. And today we're going to talk about ways to accentuate your stitching through beads or using charms or all sorts of things. And so Emma's going to help us through that. So first of all, Emma, why would we want to use beads to uh, go with the stitching that we've done? Well, the main reason for using beads is if you're a beginner to cross stitching, mm -hmm. um, sometimes French knots can feel a bit tricky yeah. when you first come to do them. Um, so this is just a great way to really add some three-dimensional aspects to your designs without having to learn all of the techniques from the beginning. Okay. So, for example, with one of these here that I've stitched, what could I do? Where could I have added some beads? With this design in particular, this is a lovely one actually that featured in issue 111 of Cross Stitch Crazy. Um, there are lots of different elements that you can pick out from this design. Um, obviously the bird's eyes and some of the punctuation marks on the text. These have been stitched using French knots. Mm -hmm. So in place of that, um, you can just pick out your desired colour of seed bead. Um, and all you need to do is just attach it to the design and it instantly lifts it and makes it more three-dimensional. Okay. Um, so what about this one here? Was there anything I could have done um, maybe to the border and things? With this one, I think the, the best thing to do would have been to use the tube beads that are available on the market. Okay. And again, all that that does is really lift the design off the Ada. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, once you've spent all of this time stitching your design, once it's uh, mounted on the wall, again, it just helps the overall design to really lift off. Yeah. Uh, so there are different shapes that we can get. There not are. Just the ones. Ooh. There are lots of different <laughs> shapes available. Um, we've also got some really good uh, needles that you can use as well, um, DMC, stock those, um, as do many other stockists. And they're actually the embroidery needles, so they're much longer and much thinner than the traditional needle and it just enables you to really thread these on and keep them on the needle securely. You don't want... They are so tiny. They, they are, they're yeah. so tiny. And you... So being that tiny, I mean, how do I make sure that they're all together and they don't go running all over the place when I'm trying to work on them? <laughs> you don't want to be running around picking <laughs> no. them up. This is actually a great idea. This was featured on the World of Cross Stitching magazine um, and it was a cover gift, but there are other models available in the marketplace at the moment. Um, all that happens with these are, it's a compartmentalised box so that section would actually be great to store your specialist needles mm -hmm. to attach these on. Yeah, and then you can put sorts of different colours in these. You could, yeah. You could, if you've, you're really keen to keep all of your colours separate and obviously to be able to find them at speed, then you can just obviously lift open the different sections and just make sure that you can find everything quickly. Yeah. And it's a nice secure way as well, so obviously for the stitcher on the move. That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything else that I could do? Um, as a starting point as well, I'd suggest, um, because some of the beads, they don't wash very well. Mm -hmm. There is always the chance of losing them. So I'd say once you've completed your um, stitch design, just give it a quick wash then at that stage right. before you actually start adding the beads onto your design. Yeah, sometimes I get really grubby fingerprint marks and I've been holding it for a while. It so. does, it does tend yeah. to happen that way and obviously um, when you're stitching much larger pieces as well and you're handling it mm -hmm. a lot more, you know, that you run the risk of, especially with white Ada. Oh, yes. <laughs> Okay, so wash it first, that's a good point. Always wash it first. <laughs> <laughs> what about these here? What can I do with them? These are garden charms, so... Let's see, what about with this one? Yeah, that would be a great one to use it on, actually. Um, we've got this lovely fairy design. This would be a lovely gift for um, a friend's birthday. And it's just a really lovely trinket box. Mm -hmm. Um, if you were to start adding s some finer detail on to accessorise your stitch in this way, then again it just really helps to lift the design off from the Ada. 
Um, another great tip actually is to use some sequins as well. So perhaps for the fairy wings. Um, oh yeah. You could attach oh, some too. sequins, yeah, and even sort of pick out the design with some metallic thread just so as it all ties in and mm. you get that really lovely glittery feeling to the design as well. Okay. Well, great. Thanks so much for that, Emma. I really feel more confident about adding beads to my stitching now. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. And thanks for joining us this thanks, time, guys. guys. Bye. -bye. Bye.